Over the next few minutes, we'll briefly summarize the features of Gopher State OneCall's iTIC application for filing locate requests online. The Profiles feature allows you to create templates that you can use to automatically fill in commonly used information on multiple locate requests. Below the Caller Information section, you will find the Profile Information section. Click the Profile Information title to access the Profiles menu. To create a new profile, start by filling out the fields with your commonly used information. All fields are optional. You can enter as little or as much information as you like. When you have finished filling out the new profile information, click the button labeled Add Profile. Enter a name for the new profile, then click Continue. The new profile will now be available in the Profiles drop-down menu, which can be accessed here or later in the ticket entry process at the Ticket Information page. Proceed with the normal process for filing locate requests. When you get to the Ticket Information page, the Profiles menu can be found in the Excavation Information section. You can choose any profile on the list, and iTake will automatically fill in the corresponding fields with the information you have saved in the profile you choose. And remember, even after choosing a profile, you can edit any field as necessary on a ticket-by-ticket -ticket basis. ITIC constantly offers updated advice on how to proceed, whether at the beginning, middle, or end of your session. This advice can be found in the suggested next step box, which will always be at the top of the page. The text will continually refresh as you work through your session. If at any point you are unsure of what to do next, first consult the suggested next step box. Live chat is another helpful resource. If other help and training materials have not answered your questions, click the chat button in the upper right corner of the screen. Enter your name and a brief description of your problem, and an operator will connect with you to answer your questions in real time. Please note that live chat is only available during normal business hours. With iTIC, you start the locate process by locating and identifying your worksite on the map. Enter an address or the name of a building in the Starting Address Location field. Once you have found the correct location, you can start mapping out your worksite. You will do this by creating one or more shapes on the map that represent your excavation area. These shapes are called excavation entities. The Create Circle tool is ideal for jobs involving pole installation, tree planting, or similar work. The Create Route tool is an excellent choice for jobs involving long and narrow work areas that do not take place in a roadway. Use the Select Parcel tool when a dig site is confined to all or part of a piece of private property. The Select Feature tool is ideal for jobs primarily confined within the roadway. The Create Polygon tool is designed as a last resort and should only be used in situations where no other excavation entity will properly cover the dig site. You can modify any of the excavation entities you have created in your current session by clicking the Edit Locates button. With Edit Mode active, click on the entity you would like to modify. Edit mode allows you to modify all aspects of your excavation entities. ITIC calculates the most efficient way to break up or combine the excavation entities you have created and assign them to locate requests. In this example, ITIC has determined that four tickets are required to cover the excavation area. These tickets are represented by the tabs in the upper left corner of the screen, temporarily named Ticket A, B, C, and D. If you see a red exclamation point, it means the ticket is missing required information that must be entered before the ticket can be released. There will be a matching exclamation point in the section where the information is missing, and a red border around each required field that is empty. 
The red globe icon indicates the mapping on that ticket has not been reviewed. You must review the mapping on each ticket before they can be released. The green chain link icon indicates that group edit mode is on. Group edit mode allows you to make changes to all tickets in the current session simultaneously. You can toggle group edit mode on and off by clicking on it. Fill out the information on each ticket as accurately as possible. iTick automatically generates the location description based on the mapping you did on the previous page. It should describe the entire work area in great detail, along with GPS information. You can edit the location description by hand, but doing so will increase the time needed to process the ticket. When you have finished filling out and reviewing all of your ticket's information, click the Next button. This will take you to the Ticket Disposition page. Here you can edit the ticket type, start date and time, and action iTick will take with each ticket. You can use the Group Edit function on the Ticket Disposition page as well. Consult the Session Disposition table for an overview of each ticket. When you are ready, click the Submit button. This will activate the action assigned to each ticket, which typically means releasing the tickets to the affected utilities. You will also be presented with the utility notification list. Depending on your eyesight privileges, each ticket should now display a ticket number along with its temporary name. You can tab through the tickets to review each utility notification list. You can now choose to log out or return to the main menu. Remember to keep your iTick manual handy. You can find the manual and several more in-depth videos in the iTick Help Center.